What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is still the same unit next day of all that huge storage unit I bought. So I don't even know where to start, but I have an idea. Probably the biggest item I found that's not looking through boxes or anything is that butcher block right there. That butcher block I looked up online is either $500 to $5,000. That is, that is, if I can find the legs. The legs have to be in this pile of <laughs> somewhere. So the, to make that worth a lot more money. So hopefully I can find the legs going through all this stuff. I can't just, I don't even know where to start with the legs. I don't remember seeing them. They might not be in here at all. I think I'm gonna start in the outskirts here, cleaning up this stuff. There's gonna be a lot of stuff to go to the dump, a lot of stuff to go to the, uh, the old uh, Goodwill or any other facility that'll take clothing and stuff like that. So that's where we're gonna start and uh, I'll bring you guys along on the journey. So. Sit down, buckle tight, and let's go through some boxes. Oh, well, hey, we're gonna start over here with all these little tiny boxes I kind of put over here in preparation. We also have this neck fan. They sent to me from Amazon. They want me to review products and they give them to me for free. So look at that. Ooh, personal fan. I thought this would be handy for the warehouse. It's so freaking hot in here. Yeah, I got a little personal neck fan. It's actually pretty uh, pretty decently built. I've been wearing it around all day. And uh, today, I'm gonna be wearing gloves. I know I usually don't wear gloves, but a lot of these boxes scare me a little bit. So, we're gonna wear some gloves. Check it out. It's got lights on it too. <laughs> they didn't sponsor my video. They didn't do anything like that but they give me free products. Neck fan, $14.99 on Amazon, link down below. It doesn't help me at all if you buy them, so don't feel pressured to buy anything. First box here. And we have first box of a lot of boxes. So, some VHS tapes, huh? We got a lot of little Disney tapes down there. Ooh, we got, uh, I think this is a Julius Caesar History Channel collection on DVD. What I'm normally gonna do, is I have two boxes over there. If it's a item to sell in my store, I'll put it in the big box over there. And if it's an item to put in my shit bags, I'll put it in the shit bag box. That way when you guys buy them, it's all sorted out and I'll have to go through the warehouse and nitpick little things to put in the bags. So these tapes are grown in, in neither. I don't really know. Maybe I'll go to my store. I don't think anybody buys VHS tapes anymore, but I may be wrong. Box right here. This one says car stuff. Let's see what kind of car stuff they got. And I forgot my, my good Milwaukee knife at home. So we're using this little, little baby razor blade. So car stuff is stackable containers. We got some good old Panther piss in here, some WD-40. Cool, that's a five dollar bill right there. Some liquid wrench, some pretty good stuff. Some antifreeze is pretty old. This is a uh, flush. This is all stuff I could use later on. It's like a heat, this is a heated uh, scraper. If I'm could be wrong. Got a good old Goodwill sticker for one ninety nine on there, so it goes in the old shit bag box. I might get a heated ice scraper. There's so many boxes to go through. I'm not gonna do this for every box. I just thought I'd pull out a few. And then when I find something unique and cool in a box, I'll turn you guys back on. So but we're gonna go through a few here on camera. And unfortunately, this one is a box of canned food. I thought I vetted out most of them. There has been probably 30 or 40 boxes of, of food. And I think these are probably expired. Um, Best Buy, well actually they're not expired, Best Buy December 2020, so maybe I can donate some of these canned foods to like a homeless shelter or something, there's a lot in here. Next box, I think it said, I can't even read what they said on here, and I don't know if you guys, I guess, I don't know if I have to get it at a good angle or not, but I'm sure if I don't. There's a big bag of... God knows what. 
It says four dollars on there though. So they bought it for four dollars, a bag of it's like a plastic containers with lids. You know what I'm gonna do with that? I'm not gonna open it up. I'm gonna put it right in my box of store items. And I'll put two dollars on there so it'll sell. Nothing nothing fun yet, honestly. Um, nasty old toilet bowl cleaner. Insect. This one has tape over it. I only really keep things that was brand new. Um, unless it's like a cleaning solution where it's like a, a bleach or something. And then I'll keep it, but that's a mystery. So I'll put that in there. Mystery. Mystery. We got some Swiffer wet jet cleaning solution. It's new in the bottle, so keep that. Uh, bed bug killer. That's not a good sign right there. Not at all. And it's been used. This is why I have a warehouse, guys. So when I bring stuff home, or bring, bring it back to look through, if it has bed bugs, it stays in the warehouse. All right, that's the last box. I'm going to go through some boxes without you guys on camera, and then I'll turn you back on when I find something neat. I got about 800 more to go. Pick a number between 1 and 500. 1 and 500? Mmm, what's that book? Five, 500 Secrets About Men. 500 Secrets About Men. Um, uh, 57. He'll blink extra long when he's lying. He's literally cannot look you in the eyes when he's fudging the truth. He blink extra long. 69. Yep, let's see what his number 69 is. <laughs> if he smiles with his lips and his eyebrows, he's genuinely excited to be with you. Like that? Like that? Smile like that? No. So each of us will grab one box out of the stack out here and we're going to see who gets the better box. Mm, it's it's going to be a hard decision. Yeah, finally it's unopened too. Miscellaneous. Mm, I'm picking that box. It's my box right here, the miscellaneous from random. Uh, you sure? Okay, let's go look at them. Move my shimmy jimmy is it called a jimmy i found in the unit so far big reveal fucking scrunchies Ooh, i think you're gonna lose is it a sex toy i don't think so i don't know you got you got some good glade cans i can got a bunch a bunch of perfume Look, it's a box inside of a box. You get, what, probably about 20 bucks in uh, Glade cans and... Mine's a good little miscellaneous one. Look at that, organic wear. Mm -hmm. That's a good it's hammer. It's a That's a good... Open. A good hammer. What are those little books? Oh, keychains? What's in the little... It's a Hello Kitty book keychain. You can write little notes in there. That one's a little Pikachu one. You broke it, you big beast. Wait, did you throw a hammer back in here? It's the same one? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that was, that was two hammers. You want to do it again? You want to redo? Yeah. All right, so I won round one, right? I think I won with the little, the little books. I'm going to get this. I'm going with this one. This one's unlabeled. Hmm. That one. Wait, is that unlabeled? Yep, it's unlabeled too. That one. Get, get mom's room instead. Who's gonna be a winner this time? I got the hammer last time, the hammer of Santos. So this is pretty first hammer when he's coming off as a little kid. Alright. Oh, what the fuck is that? Mm. Oh, you just, <laughs> oh, you got a, a box of rags. Let's see what's in mom's room. This is like a box of trash. Look at this. Look at a box of trash. This is a fucking murder weapon. 
Mom's room. Mom's just... got some pills. What kind of pills is mom on? Ne Neprican? Nep Nexaprican? You gonna take a bunch of them? No. <laughs> She's got a good old dolly right here. With two little ducks. Some perfumes. Beyonce. You got a Beyonce one? I think I won again. You got a box of freaking old uh, shop rags. I'd rather have the shop rags than this junk. Mm, this stuff's worth some money, I think. Do it one more time. What'd you say? You say one more time? One more time, because that count. A decal, I'm yeah. pretty sure. I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, it's been opened already. This one says, do not drop. You looking for a good one right there? <laughs> okay. Move mom's broom box over. <laughs> Treasure chest. I don't know, something good. It's a bunch of junk. Disappointment. No phone. Oh, this is a chest. Probably. Nope, a little thing of something. Look at that. Oh, hanging thing. It's all tangled up. Everything's tangled up. Get off there. I think this is Becky's box. Beef, Becky. It's a good um, little wind chime. You got another knife. Look at that. I got a little baby one too. Am I gonna win again? No. I'm gonna win again. Draw. It's not a draw. You got a doily. The doily doesn't count. That's the best thing in there. Look at that. You got some electrical tape and some screws. Is this an Olympic ring? Oh no, it's a towel. Yep, another wind chime. Wind chime? Bring that up. Who else is in there? Look at that. I don't know what that is. Something broken though, it's missing something. Care Bears. Uh, she has so many Altoids cans that I keep finding rings and stuff in them. A bunch of screws and stuff. Let's do it one more time today. One more time? Just to say you won. Good solid weight one. That's what you're going with? Okay. Solid as fuck. Okay. I'm going with Becky's room right there. Let's see what your good box has. Oh, <laughs> no, open it for the camera. Let's see you lose again. You already went through all these. You resealed them all up. <laughs> yeah, I resealed them all up. I had that amount of time. You could win. You're gonna get a different box. That doesn't count. We'll just we'll count that one not counting. There's something. It's in Spanish. A humidifier. You get a different box. That one don't count. I'll let you have one. You already went through all this. You three I did not go through it all of it. Room in mom's room. They get good stuff in it. All right, here's my box. Hard to do this one-handed. Look at those colorful pencils. Add to my collection of crafting supplies. Junk papers. Uh, yeah, I won that one. Look at that. Get the Knights in tray. Knights in. 
No, it might be good pots and pans. Crock pot. Yeah. Uh, and a wind chime. Uh, I didn't get that. All I got was the Knight's Lantern thing and the colored pencils, so. Okay, we'll call, we'll call it you win. You want to do one more? He wants to do one more, folks. All right. You're going to be the cameraman for us. For both of you. Okay. Yep. So we have three boxes here. And whoever has the best stuff in the boxes wins. We went through and picked it out of the hoard over there. Okay. So. <sighs> So these are my three boxes. This is James' three boxes. One with my girl Becky. He's, he picked all the ones out since Becky's room. <laughs> I beat his ass every time. No. And he's getting getting mad. He keeps going to do one more, one more. So this time we're going to do three boxes at a time. Call that opening it. Would you give me something good? <laughs> it better be something good. <laughs> He's been getting screwed over. Oh, that is good. Look at that. Totally. All right, I win. Uh, I haven't opened my box yet. We have three oh, boxes. Becky made with this. I don't know. <laughs> She's measuring her waist. Maybe. Uh, oh, really. oh that might be a good this one. Might be from her. Oh my, that's a good box right there. Hundred forty-eight dollars. It's not in there. Oh, Damn. She kept the box. Okay. All right, see what's in my box now. Okay. I got some good stuff right here. Look at that. Oh, actually, I like that. <laughs> There's some stuff in here too. Nothing of value, but I got a rooster cup and. Oh, I like that too. So I think Jamie won that box right there. What do you think? Well, let's see what other treasures he's got in there. He's still digging. We got makeup. What kind of perfume? Yeah, there's a lot of jewelry and stuff in there. But... Yeah. Look at this. You can see this. You can see this treasure trove right here. <laughs> he's working on it. got it taped so it must be valuable. Oh look at that crystal. Little mm, rock. You won that you won this That's box already. Five hundred dollars. There's some pills. Mm. First controller. <laughs> okay, next box. Yeah, I like that little There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah you just have to go through everything. You just have to go through everything. That's a good box though. I think you won that. You won that one around. So that's two out of three. Becky right didn't have anything in that room. This is glass figures. That's Becky's room. Did you get all Becky's rooms? Yeah. I'm trying to learn as much better. <laughs> I'm trying to learn as much better. <laughs> well, you know she likes expensive jewelry. She uh, keeps it. Yeah. But I also know she has to take the bomb. This is Forever Bright on it. She's probably had to sell it to get her husband out of jail. Such a cold stuff. We found a we found a book that said she's paying bond selling items. Oh lord. <laughs> oh, mine's all wrapped up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh oh, I think I won this friend. You got a bunch of old pajamas. I got a little bear. <laughs> you got old pajamas. <laughs> hey, look at that little baby bear with the with the bread. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll go through the rest of it later. Then. This is a grandma box. Yeah. I got a bunch like that where I opened up two of them and just left it because I didn't care. Okay, this is Becky's room. This is Becky's room, too, right here. You got a Becky's box? What? You can't have a Becky's box. Nope, I got a Becky's box. Yeah, no, Becky's box is mine. You want to trade me real quick? No, this is Miss Wayne. Yeah, you want to trade? This is the last round. No. All right. You can have my girl. I this offered. is probably the best one. You can have my girl. <laughs> Look at that box. Miscellaneous. Oh, treasures. Ooh, I found this. This goes to my whole Pioneer set over there. I got, oh. I got the whole head unit and all the speakers. They were probably at the last minute. Okay, throw the, throw the yeah, thing in there. What's like this? PlayStation controller. PlayStation controller. Just one oh. X is on it. No PlayStation? All the remotes to all the stuff I need right here. Awesome. Like all the crap I have. 
up. That's good. Ooh, it's a Denon remote. That's a ten dollar remote at least if I only have Denon. Don't ask me why I know. That was her last box she packed. She listened to her CDs. Oh my god, Jamie, oh. I beat your ass in this box. Look at, I got all of her CDs. All of her lover's CDs right here, they're all burned. <laughs> they all say BM on it, Becky. This doesn't count for anything. <laughs> it's an old raggy. <laughs> that might have been her teddy bear when she was a baby. That might be. What about this creepy clown? Look. <laughs> 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 okay, what's in there? Yeah, sounds good though. Sounds like it's me winning, it's Jamie. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like. Here <laughs> over there, groaning. This is like our fifth round in a row. Keep giving the redemption rounds. I want it. Look at that. Ooh. Treasures. Okay, what else is in this box? Here. And look at this, Jamie. You need to rub it in your face a little bit. Look at this little treasure chest oh. I found. Yeah. It's just empty. Oh, 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 I want the. I have that, see? What's that? It's a gold ring. Is it gold? That's their wedding rings. Mmm. Oh, good, yeah. A bunch of good movies in here and CDs. Okay. A bunch of good. good Hey, I want Kid Rock. CCR drop. right there. Yeah. Is it still in here? All right, Mom, we gotta see how much I beat him by. Uh, <laughs> you are the imp impartial third party judge. Um, look at this box. Hmm, let's just open this up and look. Let's just see what's in here real quick, Jamie. What do you think? I think it's a good box. I'd try to trade you boxes. Try to trade you. You wouldn't go for it. These are special. Look at that. Jewelry boxes upon jewelry boxes right yeah, here. Yeah, look inside of them. That's full of something. Oh my god, mom, look at that. Oh, cool. Silver dollars. Silver dollars for the win. These are old silver. These are probably, these are half dollar silver. Those are silver. Those are the ones you just give to grandpa. What's this those one? are actual silver too, I can tell. Mm-hmm. The old silver ones. Okay. How bad did I beat you? Some jewelry. Why does she have a quarter in here? It's probably special to her or something, I don't know. It's a good little box though. Yeah. Cute little box. I think it goes without even trying to have a judge on this one. <laughs> that I'm the winner again. Well. That makes me the winner. Nikki will <laughs> like going through all that. And I got a little watch in here. What's oh, the that's watch? gold. That's gotta be gold right there. It's in a little bag. And it's got a little diamond to it. A little Minnie Mouse. Oh yeah, those are worth things. Worth things. I just want to get his face one more time. The loser. <laughs> I apologize in advance for the video upcoming here. I mean, uh, I had no structure for this video or anything like that. I just kind of was doing random snippets here, snippets here, going through some boxes and showing some stuff. So uh, bear with me. Uh, I want to show you some of these bits and pieces of the video just so you guys can see everything and um, get to experience it all. I've been going through some boxes um, here and there, and you know, this is, these are all different takes from different days and different weeks. So um, I'm gonna put them all up one big line so you guys can see everything and uh, just see for yourself. And I'll see you on the other side. All right, so this is what a week's worth of progress looks like. We're about a week a little over a weekend, mostly been doing it by myself. Uh, it's just such a huge task to do with this many boxes. All right, so I'll go through the process of what I do with each box. It takes about five, 10, 15 minutes per box to go through, four or five steps to it. You take the box, you filter the trash out, that's the first step. Step two is you take the stuff that's actually worth selling in a flea market. That's like one to $10 items. Uh, I put them in a box. And then you find all the little shit bag things I'm gonna put in my shit bags. It's not like worthless stuff. And then I find if it's super awesome, it goes into my eBay box. So not very many things make it to the eBay box because that's an extra five to 10 minutes per item sometimes just to get sold. So the quickest way to sell everything is through my store the flea market. So I put one to five dollars on here, my new fancy price gun. I got a lot of stuff priced already ready to go. So take a look over here, all these boxes are filled with items that are one to five to ten dollars. I don't really ever price anything over ten dollars in my, my store because I didn't want it to get 
in there and get out. So um, the main reason for the store is to get rid of all the excess stuff. It's actually worth money that I feel bad donating because I've spent all the time and effort to get the items. So I want to actually make a little bit of money on them. So those go all in those boxes and they go straight to my store. When I get to my store, I just put them all on my shelves and everything like that. And I take all the old inventory out that I haven't sold in a month or so. I take it to Goodwill. That's, that's exactly my process, how I do all that. I also forgot one step in the whole process, which is taking all the crap crap to dump. Uh, I have an, a Goodwill box, but I take a lot of stuff to the trash dump because it's easier to get rid of. Not that it's not worth donating. I have a lot of stuff that's worth donating. I, I will donate, but a lot of stuff is, I mean, this is like a whole house, maybe two houses worth. It's, it's a bunch of different people I've been finding. So you take a whole three bedroom house, put it all in boxes. That's what I'm, that's what I'm dealing with right now. So there's a lot of little trash, little knickknack trash that's not worth keeping or selling or donating. Wider explanation of what I've been finding without showing you guys every single thing. Just like the sheet box, the crafting box, and the knickknack box. That's pretty much what this whole storage unit is. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing really super high value. It's all little knickknack things that are gonna sell for a dollar or so. Like that little thing right there. It's a, that's actually a candle. Um, I've been finding a, there's so many candles throughout this storage unit. It's kind of ridiculous. Clay thing. A lot of them do have Goodwill tags on them. So this is a $1.99 Goodwill. I'll put it, I don't know, a dollar in my store. And voila, here's all the knickknacks in that box. So about a quarter of these boxes are knickknacks. A quarter of them are sheets and rags and crafting supplies. And a quarter of them are just random daily household stuff. Um, yeah, it's not the exciting, most exciting thing to do is going through these boxes. I'm not excited to go through these boxes, but I am going through these boxes and I have to. <laughs> I am currently filtering out all this canned food I have here in these boxes. If it's good, I'm putting them in these containers. I'm going to donate them somewhere. Don't know yet. I got three containers full already. It's bad, just throw it down there. Most of them have been good so far. Uh, just look at the expiration date. Uh, most of them are good for another year or so. This one says 2021. So, you know, stuff like this, I'm just putting in here and I'll find a shelter or something to donate them to. All right, guys, so I don't know if you ever see me add new pins to the hat right here. So every time I find a new pin in a storage unit I like, I'll put it on the hat. Sometimes these are gold and silver and stuff like that. This one is just a regular pin, but I'll show you here in a second. This pin just says American. I'm gonna add it over either this side. You see I have like Taco Bell, Jack Daniels, Hot Pockets, three year anniversary Village Pantry pin. Uh, we got some American pins, September 11th pin on this side. And here's some gold over here. We have the US RGS pin. Walmart, five year and a 10 year gold pin. Uh, Indiana pin, Boy Scouts, uh, Marshes, Proud Owner. This is stuff I find in the storage units, so I'm gonna take this out and add it to the collection. And there we go, add to the collection, right in the side. It's filling up pretty good. Okay, today is Sunday, and my grandparents called me yesterday and they wanted to come out to my warehouse uh, today, this morning. So I was up to about midnight or one o'clock last night, cleaning the place up. Got here about an hour ago couple hours early so I can keep cleaning and uh, making sure my grandparents don't knock stuff over or you know have an avalanche on them stuff like that so I've gotten clear lanes for them to walk through um, gotten all obstacles off the ground um, they don't walk too great but they walk okay so I got some stuff sitting out here their main visit was to come out here and look at stuff to buy and that, you know, I'm using that setup for that. Like I don't have people buy kind of stuff and buy in here unless I invite you out here or something like that. They, they've been wanting to come out and look at it for a while and they're coming in the morning before it gets too hot outside. And uh, so I made like some clear paths through here. And this right here is little middle aisle in the warehouse is the last boxes I have not been through yet. These are the last ones to be going through. But look at this sign I put up here. 
yesterday. <laughs> Remember that I found the storage unit? I put that up just to see what it looked like. This thing is gigantic right here. I do have some stuff for them to look through, uh, just for excitement factor. I went into my office last night. If you're on my Snapchat, you've already seen this. Um, get on my Snapchat, guys, if you have never seen my Snapchats. But I went through, uh, this is mostly not gone through. I haven't gone through this drawer. And I got this little treasure chest. And what I did, I went through my uh, gold stash and I put a bunch of gold and jewelry in there for them so they can find it naturally. You know, just give them a little kick of uh, the whole storage unit hunting thing so they get all excited. So that'd be the first thing I give them when they come here. I'd be like, hey, I need you to go through this drawer right here maybe a box to throw them off and have them find that themselves. And I'll make sure I get it on video because it'd be pretty cool. Anyways guys, um, I'll see you here about an hour or so when my grandparents get here and um, keep cleaning and going through stuff and make sure, you know, getting all this stuff up off the ground. It doesn't bother me, but I don't want them to, you know, trip and fall over it or hurt themselves. Um, hopefully it stays halfway cool today. It's been 90 degrees uh, basically all week. It's humid, really crappy. Uh, yeah. The only thing, Plenty. You know, you got to. Got any good tunes to play? No, I don't even know how to play. That's a nice big piano. Yeah, I've had that for a while. Look at that. I got you an AutoZone cart or. Oh. Okay, thing. Back from my bundle? Yeah, we can put it anywhere you want. Okay, get this probably set up in the table and then I'll, I'm going to do like the pickers. I'll pick out some stuff and okay. then we'll talk about that. I have a lot of stuff that's already packed up and already at the flea market, oh. but... Well, I'm sure there's enough mm -hmm. to satisfy me, honey. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, what This is a rummage drawer I thought you'd like to go through. <laughs> Hey, Trace. <laughs> My God, little. What'd you find? Keys. You picked that up instantly, didn't you? Yeah, it's ri there's rings in here too, honey. Keys. It's a woman's thing. Is there any good jewelry in there? Any gold? Okay. Can you see? No, I can't see. We got any gold in it? That's gold, isn't it? I couldn't tell you, honey. You feel heavy? Yeah, I think that's it. You have to ask Grandma. Yeah, she would know, wouldn't she? Yeah, you can save that box for her. Wow, you got lucky. You found gold and everything. Well, yeah. I think Grandpa found gold. He found he found money. Yeah, you yeah. want you ever want to look? Oh God, here's one of these things he gave me. I don't know. A little fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, damn. You got better eyes than Grandpa. Yeah. He said he couldn't see enough, but I couldn't see. <laughs> yeah, well, it's... you'd have to have Tina now. She's the expert on gold. All your gold, gold marked, 10, 14 mm -hmm. throws, mm -hmm. but that might be 14 karat. Do you find 14 karat gold, Grandpa? I I can't even see 14 karat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing else in there worth anything, but that might be worth that something. That might be worth something. I'd put that aside. I think that might be worth something in a little bag. Usually they mark it, like on the back, and my eyes have gotten so bad. There is a marking, but I can't Maybe read that. it. Can you see the marking? Does it say 1, 4K? Yep, that's, that's 14, 14 karat. Carat, so the, yep. All right, boys and girls. It's been about two weeks since I got the unit, and we still have some stuff to go through. So we have a lot of stuff that's been either taken to the dump or Goodwill or I've got it packed away and put on eBay for sale. If you notice here, uh, that pole right there is actually the last part I rent all the way down this line for my warehouse and I've actually spilled in over here. Uh, I'll be getting this stuff cleaned up here shortly, soon, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the warehouse after two weeks of going through everything. Um, we've gotten most stuff cleaned up. There's a lot of stuff to go through still. Um, got some trash taken still. But for the most part, it's you can walk through it, you can go through there, you can look at everything. 
Um, I've got it set up where I've had some people come out here and buy stuff right off tables. I have sitting out. Uh, my grandparents did that, you guys saw, and some other family members and anybody else that kind of, if they ask, I'll have them come out here. I don't really do it uh, as a public thing or anything like that. So we'll start over here with my sorting tables. They are full right now. Um, I need to clean them off and get this stuff sorted out into different bins and boxes and stuff like that. Um, and we'll go over here to the crafting supplies, which I have not do anything, done anything to it yet. I keep just shoving them over there and um, hopefully they just disappear or something. <laughs> uh, and we go over here. This is all fabric, cloth, washcloths, you know, towels and some clothing throughout this area. And just a sidetrack, I'm about to sell this here today. This is the Martin 75 outboard engine. Um, I sold the smaller Martin 45 about a month ago, and this one's been sitting on Facebook for a while. This guy's gonna come over and buy it for like 75 bucks, which <laughs> Martin 75 for 75 bucks. And I wanna let you guys know that we have not found the butcher block legs yet. So they're either in here or they're not here at all. So here is the almighty butcher block we got on a couple of dollies here and there. Chat Wanda, it's not very stable, okay? Um, we have not found the legs for it. Uh, either they're not here or they're in this last bastion of items I have to go through, right? And it would be my luck to find them the very last you know, minute. But should be hard to fabricate something up on here. They, they are just, uh, you know, rounded out holes for four big uh, wooden uh, legs, but they won't match it. They won't be vintage, so it's not gonna be great. What are you doing, stinky? So we haven't found the butcher block legs. It's no big deal. I've been finding a lot more stuff in here. It's worth a lot of money. So it's uh, really good in my book. So in the last week, maybe two weeks. Um, I've had about $500 in cash sales, you know, friends, family, stuff like that, wants to buy things, uh, stuff on Facebook, stuff like that. And then I've had $500 in eBay sales. So uh, the unit was $400 total, if you remember that. It was $100 in gas, you know, took two days to get everything. And, uh, and then it, it did cost me $200 in breaks to fix, which I have not done yet because I just don't have any room to bring the truck in to uh, work on the truck yet. Anyways, getting off sidetrack, we are making money off this unit. We have a ton of stuff to sell still. Uh, it's gonna be very profitable, which is really good for me because uh, I needed a, needed a little break since uh, I wasn't doing too hot. Uh, I was running out of things to sell, basically, and um, I needed a lot more things to sell, and we got it. So, we're selling things, we're getting stuff done. They're look, things are looking up as far as Chase Thirst goes. Um, you know, we're nowhere, nowhere near like a Tesla fund level. Like I can't even tell you where that would be at. Um, I know you guys always ask, because we are all doing this for the Tesla truck, but we are just trying to survive right now as well. Uh, just trying to get through this really crappy time as far as the whole world goes, I guess, COVID-19. So we are surviving. We're thriving a little bit, which when we thrive a little bit, we put all our money back in the back so we can go through these times like this because you never know, you never know um, what happens on the road. So we're keeping that money back safe, um, you know, for more storage units, for more, you know, random outbreaks, stuff like this. Or, uh, you never know if you have a return on a big item, et cetera, et cetera. I think you guys, I think you guys saw that. That came from the unit as well. The Air Force Reserve uh, poster. It's very big. It's about 20 feet long, 10 feet high. It's for sale, by the way. I have it on sale for sale on Facebook for 50 bucks. If someone wants to buy it on eBay on this video, shoot me a message. I'll get it over to you. So I've put a lot of knickknacks in my thrift store, my flea market, whatever you want to call it, for sale. I kind of got tired of marking them all, and I've run out of shelf space in the store. So. What I've done is take some of these boxes I have. I probably have 5,000 of these boxes right here, these little tiny ones. They're way up there in the scaffolding. See how many I have right there. Um, I've been putting in like five or six, seven of uh, little knickknacks and glass. It's mostly little knick uh, ceramic knickknacks like this 
and uh, I'm labeling them as you know a knickknack mystery box for four to five dollars and putting them in my store I haven't got them in there yet obviously uh, my store is chock full I can't get anything else in there I have so much stuff on standby to put into the store uh, which is a good thing um, so we're I've started putting all these knickknacks in boxes and selling them as lots basically in my store I didn't want to even put these on eBay they're not worth the shipping of what they are to ship these things uh, the really good ones I have um, like there's some in here that I'll take out and sell on eBay. I like this little glass thing. I really like that. Um, this is a really neat piece too. I'll sell these individually on eBay uh, for you guys to look at and buy. Um, I don't put these things in the shit bags because they just to break instantly. One other thing I want to show you guys is some collections I've been going through, and every time I find, you know, some perfume or you know, this is all like one giant box I found. It's all nail polish. And most of it is good nail polish. Um, these perfumes are all like name brand perfumes. And Ashley, I guess, a Fifth Avenue. There's Beyonce in here. There's like David Beckham. This one is Farrah Wang and uh, Beckham. You know, all this stuff. They're really nice, nice neat little uh, perfume bottles. And my plan is to sell them on eBay as little lots of a few or so. Or I might sell the whole thing on there as one big lot. So let me know what you guys do down in the comments on this. And the nail polish. And nail polish, historically, I've either donated or given away. But there's so much of it. This is just one tote of it. I have more throughout the whole unit. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if I should sell it all. If, people buy use nail polish I have no idea okay so I think I hit a whole time low for the equipment I have around here you guys were on a ladder right now my mic is missing the clip piece for my shirt so tape that right there <laughs> anyways this is the end of the video guys um, at the end of the video here I like to do like a little top five items that I found in the storage unit that's worth talking about you guys saw a lot of things here I found, uh, but I like to condense it down to the top five items. This unit in particular is weird. It's not really weird. I mean, it's a, it's a storage unit full of a whole house, maybe two. Um, and it's all kitschy little items, statues, figurines, kitchen supplies, living room stuff, drapes, what have you. It's everything. I didn't really have a top five. Um, so I condense it down to some things I found interesting. Not, that's not stuff that's you know, worth the most money, because there is a couple things that's worth the most money. It's sewing machines and a few stereo pieces of equipment. But I thought these were interesting that I haven't not showed yet. So number one here is gonna be this book right here. And you can't really see it. I'll do a close up on it here in a second. Uh, it's called, <laughs> it's an AA book, Alcoholics Anonymous. So I got an AA book and it goes through, I think, the story of how many thousands of men and women have recovered from alcoholism. Yeah, so someone had an AA book in their unit. The next item is another book. These books are uh, the Civil War First Blood. I may have showed you these. I'm not really sure yet. Um, this is called Civil War First Blood. And this is uh, the Civil War, brother against brother. Since right now the whole thing is BLM, uh, you know, crap like that. Uh, not that I'm saying it's crap. I'll take it the wrong way. Uh, but Civil War is a big deal right now with the Confederate flag. So this is... Oh, poor boy me. Look how poor I am. I'm gonna tape my mic on. <laughs> Anyways, number three is gonna be these two books right here. This is. Um, this is a really neat book. I mean, it's a, it's a yearbook. It's from 1952. It's a yearbook from uh, the town where I bought this, um, Lafayette, Indiana, um, from Jefferson High School, if you guys are familiar with that at all. Um, so some of the yearbook photos and stuff are pretty cool. They're from, it's from the 50s. You know, it's really neat to look at. And then, anyways, item number four is another book. This is the 6th Armored Division of Fort Leonard Worth. As I was saying, this is the 6th Armored Division of Fort Leonard Worth. 
Missouri and um, it has some really cool graphics in here and I'll do a close up on these as well. Um, really neat. Let's get to the end of the video so I can stop dropping this mic. Um, you guys have bought stuff for me in the past, shit boxes, I call them shit bags. Uh, they're just random uh, bags I fill with a priority mail flat rate shipping bag. They are $13 a bag, $5 goes to me, and then eight dollars goes the the shipping of the bag so what i do is i fill each of these bags if you've bought one before and you've been satisfied it's great if you've not i'm sorry um, i have probably three boxes like this this size uh, of random stuff to put in the bags uh, and it's not trash you know it's like one to one dollar items up to ten dollar items could be twenty dollar item there's only you know could be one of those things um, and I just fill it with random stuff I find in the storage units. And uh, so that way you guys have your own little bag uh, to go through like a storage unit type deal where you can experience buying a storage unit in a bag form. So it's all the random things like, um, you know, this little emoji purse, this giant pass blue ribbon, PBR, uh, koozie, I have some vintage electronics like this old camera which i'll probably have to start using because my poor phone um, and my mic set up um, and as a bonus i'm gonna be adding some random things in here as like a tang or i think it's a 14 karat gold golden band ring we have some more golden jewelry through here that's pearls and gold we also have uh, a Fitbit watch. It's actually my wife's old watch she used for like a month. It's a probably a $40 or $50 Fitbit watch that I've had sitting out here since I've moved in to sell and I've never put it online. So I'll put that in there as well. Uh, lots of random little knickknacks and jewelry. Uh, fun stuff to go through. I swear it'll be worth your money. You know, actually I don't want to say that because last time I did say that Someone got real, real angry because it wasn't worth his $13. So it's worth the $13 if you like to go through things and enjoy going through a bag of stuff. Okay, so the link for these bags will be down below in the description. You can also find my Facebook page, which I update weekly, you know, a couple, day, a couple days a week. I'll update those. Uh, I'll put videos and stuff on there that I don't put on YouTube. Um, also, you can follow me on Snapchat, which if you have Snapchat, you can follow me on there. I know a lot of you don't. Um, I do daily videos on Snapchat of going through some of these boxes I open up that are not on YouTube. Um, I try sometimes uh, to go through a box with a, uh, you know, for YouTube and stuff, but it's, it's difficult sometimes. Uh, so Snapchat's easier for me, so I've been putting a lot on there. You can find the link to the Snapchat below. Uh, it's also just called Truck and Clint, one word, and I'm losing my mic once again. So, we're going to end the video right here with my mic. Remember, fortune favors the bold. Get out there and do some bold shit. And as a bonus at the end of this video, I'm going to be putting a lot of my Snapchats I've been putting on there at the end. Because they're all in like portrait form, so um, it's going to be not pleasant to look at sometimes. But I'm going to be putting a bunch at the very end from this storage unit and uh hope you guys enjoy maybe it'll uh, convince you to uh you know, add me on snapchat so enjoy guys see you later it feels wonderful in here today doesn't it it's not hot at all let me get some treaties for you I brought some treaties for you huh headed back home because so i got a little too hot a little too hot it's a nazi third reich from 1939. I think it's a five cent piece. I'm not really sure though. I'm gonna do some more uh, looking up on that. It was in this little container right here with the certificate authenticity, but it doesn't really match up what this coin is. We had to come home because we we're being terrible little dog children, weren't we? <laughs> weren't we, Dean? I'll leave you here. That has more to do in the warehouse. You didn't want to be there no more. You okay being left here? Let me go back to the warehouse. Huh? Yeah, you're okay with it. So I'm getting ready to go see 
my niece and drop the trailer off. So I'm getting a little some clay totes that I cleaned out. Got her some little gel markers and some coloring pads and coloring books and little little baby markers she can play with. And these little coloring books right here. A jungle book. And I got her a drum. And see what else I can bring her over here the, uh, the crafting supplies. I think she'll like this. Look at all those little pens and colorful pencils so she can play with and color. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready to go to the dump today? Yeah? Got you a big old thing of water right here. With the little baby bowl. Yeah. Well, we made it. I'm gonna actually pull up a little bit. Look at those guys. <laughs> This is going to take a minute to do it by hand. Hot out here today too. So it was uh, 10,000 pounds gross weight, tear weight, and then it was 1,840 pounds. I just unloaded by hand. I don't like that sign, so I'm gonna change it. Now it just says, oh my fucking God, welcomes. Which I like a lot better than OMFC. Who's cool? Wanda's cool. Aren't you cool, huh? You cool doggy. <laughs> <sighs> I think I want the old Bison. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I got that on video. Oh, yeah. oh my god. You ready to go back home? Licky? You ready to go back home, aren't you? Okay, we'll go back home. We'll go back home, Wanda.